a sort of like a, a dream state. Um, it's a very peculiar where there is virtually no dynamic ability ongoing. It's a very stationary, almost frozen uh, state. The Montauk Project is a combination of Wilhelm Reich's work and the Philadelphia Experiment. It was like two separate little projects going on in Phoenix One. You now could use this for mind control. They were just grabbing indigenous people off the street and throwing in front of the radar beam and let's see what happens. The original money came from the Nazis, the Nazi government. Many of the scientists, the civilian people and scientists there, were all ex-Nazis who came from Nazi Germany, either after the war was over with Werner von Braun, or were snuck in before the war, as was Dr. Runterman and a few others. The effects were, in some cases, totally disastrous. They burned brains out and people just dropped dead. And they started going back in time, they started going ahead in time, they actually got the time machine. You could walk in in 1981 and come out in 47. This transmitter had enough power to warp space and time, go through Bearden's equations. There's more than enough power to do it. Peculiar uh, spiral tunnel which was lit. All, all the way down, you would start to walk into this thing, and then suddenly if you pull down it, you would more or less be projected. You didn't walk through it as such. You were more or less propelled through it. You walked into it. You walked into it, correct? Right. Right start. Then you were propelled down the thing like some force grabbed you and pulled you through. And you would go down this, and you would go be propelled down this tube, as it were, this tunnel, which was not straight. It was, it was corkscrew. And it would not go in a straight line either. It would take some very strange turns, which we could not explain. But it did take turns, and you'd come out at the other end, wherever you were supposed to come out, and uh, meet somebody or do something at the other point. And did you have like a vision? Yes. Decided to go into the final series of tests and preparation. So about July 20th of 43, they decided, well, I guess it's ready. So they decided 22 July, got the whole crew together, selected about 12 individuals, plus the two of us who were in the control room to operate all the equipment. So the fateful hour came, they ran the ship out into the harbor. The orders came by a radio, fire up, and go through the procedures, in which we did. The ship became invisible optically as well as radar. And it came back. And it came back, uh, they knew immediately something was wrong. There were four men embedded in the decks, two in the steel decks on top, two on the bulkhead walls, and the fifth man had his hand jammed in the steel of the wall. He lived because they could cut his hand off and give him an artificial hand. People disoriented, reports were some were floating around and finally got their feet on the ground, others floated away and disappeared. The crew on the second test was a little larger than the first. And uh, a number who were just plain totally insane. 